In this one, I wanna show you how to open and make a trade on the CMC Markets spread betting application on smartphones. So firstly, we need to search for the product that we want to trade. You should be in the products option down in the middle, and then you can go through and search for whatever you, it is you want to trade. In this one, I'm just gonna trade some USP 500. So I will press the S&P 500 here. It takes me through to the next page, which is usually a chart you can actually go through and see some news and some sentiment depending on which account that you have, but it will take you through to the chart usually. Now, if you want to open a trade, you have to press one of the options at the top, either if you're a buyer or a seller, just press the option that you want. So I'm a buyer and I'm going to press that option. And now when it takes me through to the trading screen, it knows that I am a buyer and I want to go long. So what I have to do is enter how many pounds or dollars, whatever currency you're in per point that I want to open. So I check that box and then there may be some limits in terms of minimums and maximums depending how much money you have on account. But just as an example, I will play one pound per point and then I will have to press return down at the bottom to enter that. And as you can see, the value of that trade now comes up. So that trade is worth about 34,000. I could go and confirm that trade right now. As you can see, it's a market order, or you can click this type of order to change. So I may want to put in a limit order. And in that case, I will have to change the limit price that I'm trading at. As it's a limit order, it has to be below the current market price. As you can see, it did that automatically for me at 3,391, currently trading on the buy side at about 3,460. If you want to put your limit order in, then just change to whatever limit price that you want, press return, and then down at the bottom, you can go and confirm that, and your limit order will be there. So one pound per point, and the trade will be opened if the price goes down to 3,390 on the buy side. As you can see currently, it is above that price, so the order would not go through right now. If I change the limit order down to a cheaper price, maybe 3,350 and press return again, you will see that the value of the trade will decrease. Obviously the lower price that you get in at, if you're betting the same amount per point, then the value of the entire trade obviously would go down. You can also change the time scale of the order. So right now it is GTC, good till canceled. But if you press that, some options will come up. You can change to a date setting. So it gives you about four or five days in the settings. So for example, if I want to have this trade in the system until the 28th, I click on the 28th. And then if this order isn't fulfilled before the 28th, it will be canceled automatically for me. You can press that again and down at the bottom, switch to good till canceled if you want. And so this order will be in the system until you go and cancel it yourself at some time in the future. So if I do want to open this trade, then I can click to a market order and it will just open the trade at whatever the price is in the market at the time I open it. Some other options for the trade though, for example, are stop loss. And this will stop out any losses that you have if the trade goes against you. Right now, the stop loss limit is at 3,288. So you can see that's almost about 200 points away from the current price. And you can also see that if the trade was stopped out at that price, given that I entered at the current price, then the loss on the account would be about 1,700. You can also change that stop loss to different options as well. So right now it's a regular stop loss, which means that the price of that stop loss won't change. You can also change it to a trailing stop loss. Right now the stop loss is 1,730 points away from the opening price of the trade. But obviously as a trailing stop loss can move with your trade, you can pretty much put in any amount that it trails. So maybe 2,000 and press return and the stop loss price will be changed. If I then change that to a trailing stop loss of 1500, the stop loss price will change again. Those are really the two main options for you. I will just keep it simple and have a regular stop loss in here. And I'm going to change the stop loss to a much closer price than what we open the trade at. And therefore you can see the value of that loss, if it were to occur, is obviously far less than we had in the first place. You can also open a take profit order at the same time. So if the trade moves in your favor and reaches 
a certain price level, then it will be automatically traded out for you to take that profit. Just like the stop loss order, you can change the amount or the price level to whatever you want. So if I change it to 3,600, then obviously the amount of money I made, if the price gets there, will increase. Or if I want this to be closer to the current price, you can change it. And again, the value of that trade will change accordingly to how far away it is from the current price. At the bottom, you can see your estimated margin that you need on account to open the trade. You can click on that and see some more details. For right now, there are none. So if I want to change the amount per point, then I can do that to maybe two. And as you can see, pressing return, it almost pretty much doubles my estimated margin because I have doubled the bet from one to two. The value of that trade also will increase if I change it back to one pound per point, then everything pretty much halves in terms of the value of the trade and the estimated margin. So if you are ready to buy then you may want to put in a limit order. But for now, I'm just going to open a market order to show you. So I am betting one pound per point, the value of the trade overall. One pound obviously on this price is 34,000. A stop loss around 20 points away from this price. If it happened would be a loss of 200 odd pounds. Taking profit at three and a half thousand would be a profit of around 385 pounds. And I need 1700 pounds of margin to open this trade. Once you're happy with your stop loss and your take profit, if you have them or want them there, then you can go and just press confirm. Pressing confirm actually opens the trade for you. So there it is and it confirms everything. I bought some S&P 500 at one pound per point the price there that I bought at and then my take profit and stop loss orders are in the market as well. I can open a new order exactly the same way by clicking new order or if you close out of that, it will take you back to the stock price chart. Then you can press done on that and go to your account and see your open orders. As you can see, my positions are now there and I only have one open position right now, which is this trade. If I click on this trade, it will show me back to the chart. You can go and trade again, or you can press done to come out and see the rest of your trade here. Now, if you do want to trade in and out of this, you have to press this option right here, and you can essentially modify your order in any way. You can go through to modify your stop loss or your take profit. You can also remove them completely. So for example, if I change my take profit to 3,600 instead, press return then that is different now. So I can press modify down at the bottom and it will allow me to do that. No problems. I can then close out of that. It takes me back through to my position screen. If you want to trade out of your position at any time, then click one of the red X buttons on the right hand side. If you click that, as you can see, it will take you through to basically just trading out of the trade that you got in. So right now it's actually in profit about two pounds, maybe you want to confirm trading out of that. You press that button and straight away you sold, traded out of the position that you were in. If I go through to the executions tab, you can see I opened an S&P 500 cash bet and I also closed that bet as well. This time I made a two pound profit. That is it though for trading spread bets on the CMC Markets smartphone app. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.